In 1147, a significant figure named Minamoto no Yoritomo was born in Japan. He was the son of Minamoto no Yoshitomo, a prominent warrior of the Minamoto clan. Yoritomo's birth marked the beginning of his journey to become one of the most influential figures in Japanese history. Being born into a renowned warrior family, Yoritomo inherited a noble lineage and a strong samurai tradition. His father, Yoshitomo, played a crucial role in the politics and military conflicts of the time, and his mother was Lady Takiwa. Known for her courage and resilience. As a child, Yoritomo likely grew up surrounded by tales of bravery and honor, hearing stories of his family's achievements and the tumultuous times they faced. These early experiences may have influenced his character and instilled in him a sense of duty and responsibility towards his family and clan. However, Yoritomo's childhood took a tragic turn when his father was killed during the Heiji Rebellion in 1159. This event not only marked a personal loss for Yoritomo but also fueled his desire for revenge and shaped his determination to restore the Minamoto clan's honor and power. Although Yoritomo was still young when his father died, the impact of his father's death and the struggles that followed would greatly shape his future. This early adversity may have forged his resilience, sharpened his strategic thinking, and fostered his ambition to unify Japan under the Minamoto clan's banner. In summary, in 1147, Yoritomo the son of Minamoto no Yoshitomo, was born. His birth marked the beginning of a remarkable journey that would see him become a prominent figure in Japanese history. The experiences and challenges he faced during his childhood would shape his character and lay the foundation for his future endeavors in the pursuit of power and unification. In 1159, a significant event known as the Hagen Rebellion unfolded in Japan. During this time, Minamoto no Yoshitomo, the father of Minamoto no Yoritomo, found himself embroiled in a power struggle against the influential Heike, led by Taira no Kiyomori. The Hagen Rebellion was a conflict that arose from political tensions and disputes over the imperial succession. Yoshitomo, as a prominent member of the Minamoto clan, sought to assert his family's position and influence. However, despite his efforts, Yoshitomo's forces were ultimately defeated by the powerful Heike. The key figure in the Heike, Kiyomori, emerged victorious in the Hagen Rebellion. As a result of their defeat, Yoshitomo was captured and subsequently executed, marking a tragic end to his life. This turn of events had a profound impact on Yoritomo, as he not only lost his father but also witnessed the downfall of his family and the Minamoto clan's authority. Yoritomo's experiences during this tumultuous period likely played a significant role in shaping his ambitions and fueling his determination to avenge his father's death. The loss suffered by the Minamoto clan at the hands of the Heike became a driving force behind Yoritomo's subsequent efforts to unite the samurai clans and establish his own power base. In summary, in 1159, the Hagen Rebellion occurred, and Minamoto no Yoshitomo, Yoritomo's father, was defeated by the Heike's leader. Taira no Kiyomori, resulting in Yoshitomo's death.
This event marked a turning point in Yoritomo's life and set the stage for his future endeavors to restore the Minamoto clan's honor and establish his authority as a prominent figure in Japanese history. In 1160, a significant event took place in the life of Minamoto no Yoritomo, who was destined to become one of Japan's most influential figures. During this time, Yoritomo was forced into exile and sent to a region called Izu, located in present-day Kanagawa Prefecture. Exile refers to the act of being banished or sent away from one's homeland as a form of punishment or political maneuver. In the case of Yoritomo, his exile was the result of political turmoil and power struggles among various samurai clans during the late Heian period. Yoritomo's exile to Izu was not an easy experience. Removed from the center of power and surrounded by unfamiliar surroundings, he faced numerous challenges and hardships. However, this period of exile also played a crucial role in shaping Yoritomo's character and setting the stage for his future achievements. During his time in Izu, Yoritomo honed his leadership skills strategized for his eventual return, and fostered alliances with other dissatisfied samurai clans who were seeking to challenge the dominance of the Heike. This period of seclusion allowed Yoritomo to reflect, plan, and prepare for the pivotal role he would later play in Japanese history. It is worth noting that Yoritomo's exile was not permanent. Through his determination and political maneuvering, he eventually managed to gather support and build a formidable military force. This ultimately led to his triumphant return and the establishment of the Kamakura Sogonate, a military government that marked a significant shift in Japan's political landscape. In summary, in 1160, Minamoto no Yoritomo was exiled to Izu, Kanagawa Prefecture. This period of exile, although challenging, provided Yoritomo with an opportunity to develop his leadership skills, plan his future endeavors, and forge alliances that would prove instrumental in shaping his rise to power. In 1177, an important event took place in the life of Minamoto no Yoritomo, the renowned historical figure who would go on to shape Japan's political landscape. During this year, Yoritomo entered into a marriage alliance with a prominent figure named Hojo Masako. Hojo Masako was the daughter of Hojo Tokimasa a powerful samurai lord who held considerable influence in the Kanto region. The marriage between Yoritomo and Masako was a strategic union that aimed to solidify and strengthen Yoritomo's position within the tumultuous political landscape of medieval Japan. The union between Yoritomo and Masako represented more than just a personal connection. It brought together two influential families and established a crucial alliance that would significantly impact Yoritomo's rise to power. The Hojo clan, through this marriage, pledged their support to Yoritomo's cause, lending him both military might and political backing. Masako, a woman known for her intelligence and political acumen, played an instrumental role in Yoritomo's quest to establish the Kamakura Sogonate. As Yoritomo's wife, she actively participated in political affairs, advised her husband on strategic matters, and even assumed leadership roles in Yoritomo's absence.
The marriage between Yoritomo and Masako not only united two influential families but also laid the foundation for a long-lasting political partnership. Their union symbolized the consolidation of power and resources, enabling Yoritomo to assert his authority and navigate the complex web of political alliances and rivalries. Furthermore, the marriage between Yoritomo and Masako resulted in the birth of several children who would go on to play significant roles in Japanese history. Their descendants continued the lineage and became integral figures in the successive generations of the Hojo clan. In summary, in 1177, Minamoto no Yoritomo entered into a strategic marriage alliance with Hojo Masako. This union not only strengthened Yoritomo's position within the political landscape but also forged a powerful alliance between the Minamoto and Hojo clans. Masako's influence and support proved instrumental in Yoritomo's rise to power making their marriage a significant turning point in Japanese history. In 1180, an important turning point occurred in the life of Minamoto no Yoritomo, a significant figure in Japanese history. Yoritomo, driven by a desire to restore the Minamoto clan's honor and overthrow the powerful Heike, rallied his supporters and raised an army. Yoritomo's decision to take up arms against the Heike marked the beginning of a series of battles and conflicts known as the Genpei War. The Genpei War was a struggle for supremacy between the Minamoto clan, led by Yoritomo, and the Heike, led by Taira no Kiyomori. The first major clash between the Minamoto and Heike forces took place at the Battle of Ishibashi. Unfortunately, Yoritomo's army suffered a defeat at the hands of the Heike forces. Despite this setback, Yoritomo remained determined and resilient in his pursuit of victory. Undeterred by the defeat, Yoritomo regrouped his forces and strategized for the next confrontation. The turning point came at the Battle of Fuji River in 1180, where Yoritomo's army achieved a resounding victory over the Heike forces. This triumph marked a significant shift in the balance of power and demonstrated Yoritomo's military prowess and leadership. The Battle of Fuji River proved crucial in Yoritomo's rise to prominence. The victory not only boosted the morale of Yoritomo's followers but also attracted additional support from influential individuals and regional allies who were eager to join the cause against the Heike. Following his victory at the Battle of Fuji River, Yoritomo's influence and reputation continued to grow, eventually leading to the downfall of the Heike. The conflict between the Minamoto and Heikas culminated in the decisive Battle of Denora in 1185, where the Heike forces were finally defeated. And Yoritomo emerged as a dominant figure in Japanese politics. In summary, in 1180, Minamoto no Yoritomo raised an army with the goal of overthrowing the Heike. While initially experiencing defeat at the Battle of Ishibashi, Yoritomo rebounded and achieved a significant victory at the Battle of Fuji River. These events marked critical milestones in the Genpei War and Yoritomo's eventual ascent to power, leading to the downfall of the Heike and shaping the course of Japanese history. In 1184, an important event unfolded in the historical narrative of Japan involving two prominent figures, Minamoto no Yoshisune and the Heike. Yoshisune, the younger brother of Minamoto no Yoritomo, rose to prominence as a skilled warrior and military strategist. At that time, the Heike, led by Taira no Kiyomori, held significant power and influence in Kyoto, the capital of Japan. They had established their dominance over the imperial court and controlled various aspects of governance. However, 
The Minamoto clan, led by Yoritomo, sought to challenge the Heike's authority and restore the Minamoto clan's position. In 1184, Yoshisuni, with the support of his brother Yoritomo, gathered forces and engaged in a series of battles against the Heike in Kyoto. These conflicts aimed to weaken the Heike's hold on power and ultimately drive them out of the capital. Yoshisuni's military prowess and tactical genius were instrumental in the Minamoto clan's success. He devised strategic maneuvers and employed skilled warriors to confront the Heike forces. Gradually turning the tide of the conflict in favor of the Minamoto clan. As the battles unfolded, Yoshisuni's forces launched a series of relentless attacks on the Heike. Gradually pushing them back and forcing them to retreat from Kyoto. The culmination of these battles came with the decisive victory at the Battle of Yoshima where Yoshisuni's forces dealt a significant blow to the Heike and solidified their control over Kyoto. By driving the Heike out of Kyoto, Yoshisuni played a crucial role in undermining the Heike's authority and paving the way for the ultimate downfall of the clan. This series of events marked a significant turning point in the power dynamics of medieval Japan and set the stage for the eventual triumph of the Minamoto clan. In summary, in 1184, Minamoto no Yoshisuni, the younger brother of Yoritomo, engaged in battles against the Heike in Kyoto. Through strategic brilliance and military prowess, Yoshisuni successfully drove the Heike out of the capital, contributing to the Minamoto clan's ascent and the subsequent decline of the Heike. These events shaped the course of Japanese history and exemplified the bravery and skill of Yoshisuni as a military leader. In 1185, a significant event unfolded in Japanese history, known as the Battle of Dan no Ura. During this time, Minamoto no Yoshisuni, a renowned warrior and member of the Minamoto clan, engaged in a decisive battle against the Heike. The Heike, led by Taira no Munamori, had been engaged in a long-standing conflict with the Minamoto clan for control over Japan. The rivalry between the two clans reached its peak, and the Battle of Dan no Ura marked the climax of their power struggle. During the battle, Minamoto no Yoshisuni, with the support of his allies, launched a fierce assault on the Heike forces. Through strategic planning and the bravery of his warriors, Yoshisuni inflicted heavy losses upon the Heike and effectively crushed their military might. The battle took place in the Dan no Ura Strait, near the coast of Shimonoseki in present-day Yamaguchi Prefecture. The Heike, having lost key battles and their dominance, made their last stand in this critical naval engagement. Yoshisuni's forces, with superior tactics and the element of surprise, overwhelmed the Heike navy. The Heike suffered a crushing defeat, and many of their prominent members, including Taira no Munamori, perished in the battle. However, amidst the triumph over the Heike, an unfortunate turn of events occurred within the Minamoto clan. Yoshisuni's relationship with his older brother, Minamoto no Yoritomo, had deteriorated over time due to various disagreements and power struggles. Yoritomo, the leader of the Minamoto clan and the founder of the Kamakura Sogonate, 
became suspicious of Yoshisune's growing popularity and influence. Consequently, Yoritomo ordered Yoshisune to be defeated and pursued as an enemy. Despite his remarkable victory at Dan no Ura, Yoshisune found himself being hunted down by his own brother's forces. Eventually, in 1189, while fleeing to the northeastern region of Japan, Yoshisune was betrayed and taken down by his pursuers. The Battle of Dan no Ura not only marked the downfall of the Heike but also contributed to the fracturing of the Minamoto clan. It exemplified the tragic fate of Yoshisune, a legendary warrior who emerged victorious in battle but was ultimately betrayed and met a tragic end at the hands of his own family. In summary, in 1185, Minamoto no Yoshisune achieved a momentous victory over the Heike in the Battle of Dan no Ura. However, despite his success, his strained relationship with his brother Yoritomo led to his eventual downfall. This event highlights the complexities and power struggles within the Minamoto clan during the turbulent period of medieval Japan. In 1189, an important event occurred involving Minamoto no Yoshisune, a prominent figure in Japanese history. Yoshisune, who was the younger brother of Minamoto no Yoritomo, had faced a series of conflicts and power struggles within the Minamoto clan. Following his victory over the Heike in the Battle of Dan no Ura, Yoshisune found himself at odds with his older brother Yoritomo, who feared Yoshisune's growing popularity and influence. As a result, Yoshisune was labeled as a rebel and was forced to flee from his brother's forces. Yoshisune sought refuge in the northeastern region of Japan, known as Tohoku. This area provided him with a temporary sanctuary as he tried to evade capture by his pursuers. However, despite his attempts to elude his enemies, Yoshisune's whereabouts eventually became known. In 1189, while in hiding, Yoshisune was betrayed by one of his former allies and was subsequently captured by the pursuing forces. Realizing that capture would likely result in his execution, Yoshisune chose to take his own life rather than face a dishonorable end at the hands of his enemies. The tragic demise of Yoshisune marked the end of an era for the Minamoto clan. His death symbolized the internal conflicts and political turmoil that plagued the clan during that time. Despite his remarkable military achievements and tactical prowess, Yoshisune's fate serves as a reminder of the unpredictable and treacherous nature of the samurai world. In summary, in 1189, Minamoto no Yoshisune, who had sought refuge in the northeastern region of Japan, was ultimately captured and killed by his pursuers. This event marked the tragic end of Yoshisune's life and represented the culmination of the conflicts and power struggles within the Minamoto clan. Yoshisune's story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges and sacrifices faced by historical figures during this tumultuous period in Japanese history. In 1192, an important event took place in Japan's history as Minamoto no Yoritomo rose to power and established the Kamakura Shogunate. This marked a significant shift in the country's political landscape and had a lasting impact on Japanese society. Prior to Yoritomo's rise, 
Japan had been plagued by political turmoil and power struggles among various samurai clans. Yoritomo, as the son of Minamoto no Yoshitomo and a descendant of the prestigious Minamoto clan, had experienced firsthand the conflicts and challenges faced by his family. With the goal of restoring stability and centralized authority, Yoritomo sought to consolidate power under his leadership. He envisioned a new form of government where military power would be paramount, and the position of the shogun, or supreme military commander, would hold significant influence. In 1192, Yoritomo achieved his goal and was granted the title of Seitai Shogun, or the Barbarian Subduing Great General. This marked the official establishment of the Kamakura Shogunate, with Yoritomo as its first shogun. Under the Kamakura Shogunate, Yoritomo implemented a system of governance that relied heavily on the authority of the samurai class. He appointed loyal samurai warriors as regional governors, known as Shugo, who administered various territories on his behalf. This decentralized form of governance allowed for efficient rule and swift responses to local issues. Yoritomo's establishment of the Kamakura Shogunate brought about a period of stability and military control that lasted for several centuries. It also marked the beginning of the samurai-dominated feudal system, where samurai warriors held significant power and authority over the land. The Kamakura Shogunate played a crucial role in shaping the political, social, and cultural landscape of medieval Japan. It fostered the development of Bushido, the samurai code of conduct, and influenced the practices and customs of the warrior class. In summary, in 1192, Minamoto no Yoritomo rose to power and became the shogun, establishing the Kamakura Shogunate. This marked a significant shift in Japan's political structure and ushered in a period of samurai dominance. Yoritomo's establishment of the shogunate brought stability and centralized military control to Japan leaving a lasting impact on its history and culture. In the year 1199, an important event occurred in the life of Minamoto no Yoritomo, a prominent figure in Japanese history. Yoritomo, who was born in 1147 as the son of Minamoto no Yoshitomo, had a significant impact on the political landscape of medieval Japan. At the age of 53, Yoritomo passed away, marking the end of an era and leaving a legacy that would be remembered for generations to come. Throughout his life, Yoritomo played a pivotal role in shaping Japan's governance and establishing the Kamakura Shogunate. As the founder and the first shogun of the Kamakura Shogunate, Yoritomo held the title of Seitai Shogun, meaning the Barbarian Subduing Great General. Under his leadership, he implemented a system of centralized military control that provided stability and order during a time of political unrest. Yoritomo's passing not only marked the end of his personal journey but also had profound implications for the future of Japan. With his death, the country mourned the loss of a visionary leader who had brought about significant changes in the societal structure. Yoritomo's legacy endured long after his passing. The Kamakura Shogunate which he established, continued to shape Japan's political landscape for several centuries, 
influencing subsequent shogunates and the development of the samurai class. Furthermore, Yoritomo's accomplishments left an indelible mark on Japanese culture. His establishment of the shogunate and the subsequent rise of the samurai class significantly impacted the social hierarchy. Martial traditions, and codes of conduct observed by warriors during that time. In summary, in the year 1199, Minamoto no Yoritomo, the first shogun of the Kamakura shogunate, passed away at the age of 53. His death marked the end of an era and the loss of a visionary leader who had reshaped Japan's political landscape. Yoritomo's legacy continued to influence Japanese society, politics, and culture, leaving an enduring impact that can still be felt today.